This is a question from the specimen paper of 2015, eh, paper form. And again, before we start, we have to give credit, and I want to give credit to Cambridge uh, examinations, because this is their question. Um, I did not create it. Eh? One of you has asked me on my site, explainingmaths.com, to help um, yeah, with this particular question. And you can do the same, by the way. Okay, so let's, let's start. What's going on? Uh, it says, the diagram shows a plastic cup in the shape of a cone with the end removed. And indeed, eh, because before I start answering, I, I, I analyze uh, the problem. Eh? Indeed, I see some sort of cone and they take off the end. Yeah? Because otherwise, the cup can't stand yeah? because it needs some sort of flat base. Yeah? So that makes sense. And I'm sure we all are familiar with a cup in this shape. The vertical height of the cone in the diagram is 20 centimeters. So let's have a look. Indeed, 20 centimeters over there. The height of the cup is eight centimeters. Okay, and before I continue now, I'm gonna write down 12 over here, yeah, because that is 12 centimeters, eh? eight plus 12 is gonna give me my 20, yeah? And doing this, eh, analyzing the problem before you answer it is crucial, yeah? So please do it yourself as well. The base of the cup has a radius of 2.7 centimeters. 2.7 centimeters, yeah, it's a circle, a radius 2.7 centimeters. Yeah, it all makes sense to me. I see an R here and an S, um, which will become important soon, I'm sure. Show, they say, that the radius R, there we go, of the circular top of the cup is 4.5 centimeters. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna write that there already. They give me the answer, they say, well, the radius is 4.5, but I gotta show why it's 4.5. Now, the way you have to approach this is um, with similarity, okay? Because I have two cones here, actually. I have a big cone, yeah? I have a big cone over here, and I have a smaller cone, that's this one. And these two cones are similar, okay? And there are several ways to work with similarity. Yeah? We're talking about scale factor, but the way I always approach it is the following. I put my unknown, so that will be R, over a particular side uh, in uh, of the diagram which R is part of. Eh? So what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the big cone, R is 4.5. Do I know another length of the big cone? Yes, I do. I know the height, which is 20. So I'm gonna do R over 20, and that has to equal this similarity. Now then I have to look for the corresponding sides. So the big cone, R, is this radius and the smaller cone which one corresponds with the radius of the big one well that's of course the radius over there eh? so that is 2.7 2.7 over and again i'm looking for corresponding sides the big cone 20 so we're talking about the vertical height and in the small cone that vertical height is 12 you see that's why it was important to write it there so over 12. so it's important that the r and the 2.7 they are corresponding, yeah? And the 20 and 12, they are corresponding, okay? With similarity. Now again, there are other ways of doing this, but now I rearrange it, so I multiply both sides by 20, yeah, to get rid of that fraction over there. So R equals 2.7 over 12 times 20. And if you put it in your calculator, you will notice indeed you're gonna get 4.5, okay? And that is exactly what they tell you the answer is going to be. But you've got to show with your steps uh, how you can reach that answer. Okay, so that was part A. Let me see if I can just pull that away. I think I can. I don't think we need the, the description anymore. Eh? Otherwise, I'll just get it back. Because now part B, um, which is, I believe, uh, for four points... Is that right? Yeah, four points, can you see that? Okay, so for four points, so you probably have to do quite some work for it, okay? It's not going to be too straightforward. Okay, let's have a look, what are they saying? They say calculate the volume of the water in the cup when it's full, okay? So how much water is inside when the cup is full? The volume V of a cone with radius R and a height H, and they give you this formula. Um, which you don't have to remember anymore because they give it to you in the in the test. A third pi r squared h. Okay, for four points. Now, how can I calculate the amount of water inside the cup? Well, you don't have a formula for yeah, to find the volume of this yeah of this this shape, but they do give you the formula to find 
um, the volume of a cone. Sorry, I'm getting confused now a little bit. Yeah, so of a cone. And we indeed have a big cone here. So I could find the volume of the big cone. And I have a smaller cone here. So the volume of the big cone, take away the volume of the small cone, is going to give me the volume of the cup. Do you see that? So again, the entire volume take away that part you're not interested in, it's going to give you with the volume of the cup. All right, so we have to do two things, uh, but they're both the same. So for the, let's start with the big cone, the volume. So they say that is a third times pi times the radius squared, and the radius is 4.5. So 4.5 squared times the height, which is 20. Let me just put some brackets around that. So that's gonna be the volume of the entire cone. But we have to take away the part we're not interested in. And that is also a cone, a third times pi times the radius, now 2.7, yeah, squared um, times 12, okay? So that should give me already the majority of the points, by the way, yeah, for writing this down. And um, I'm just going to, if you put it in your calculator, I'm just going to leave that in terms of pi. Yeah, so that is going to give me 135 pi. Take away 29.16 pi. Yeah, so that's 135 pi. Take away 29.16 pi. I leave it in terms of pi, so I don't have to write down all those decimals yet. I mean, you could work it out entirely, but I just rather say 105.84 times pi, and then in the end, yeah, so I've done this subtraction, in the end I times it by pi, and round it correctly to three significant figures, three, three, two centimeters cubed, okay? So, um, that is your final answer, correct to three significant figures, yeah? So this is 135 pi, take away 29.16 pi, that's 105.84 pi. I worked it out. Yeah, then I get all the decimals and I round it to 332, 332, and the unit is centimeters cubed. All right, uh, go to the next video, part two. Some more questions about this water cup. Yeah, and check my site, explainingmaths.com, for more resources. And you can also find me on Facebook, by the way. You can ask me your questions and I will help you. All right, I'll see you later.